Hi, Storytime friends. We're really glad that you've joined us for today. Will you help me wake up, Shelly? One, two, three. Wake up, Shelly! One more time. One, two, three. Wake up, Shelly! Oh, ah, this weather makes me even more sleepy. Me too, with a cold. Well, speaking of the weather, let's read a book that talks about what's happening outside this time of year. This is Wild Child by Lynn Plourd, illustrated by Greg Couch. Will you help me with the pages, Shelley? Sure. Wild Child. Time for bed, Mother Earth said. Not for a while, said her wild child. A song first. I need a song to play in my head before going to bed. So Mother Earth gave her child a song. Crinkly, crackle, leaves snapple. Chutter, chatter, chipmunks patter. Flap, flitter, birds twitter. Skitter, scatter, acorn splatter. And such was the song to play in her head. And Mother Earth said, Now are you ready for bed? Not for a while, said her wild child. A bite first. I need a bite. A little snack before taking a nap. So Mother Earth gave her child a snack. Crunchy, munchy, chewy chestnuts. Plumpy, lumpy, pulpy pumpkins. Mmm, that makes me hungry. Yes, the pumpkins remind me of pumpkin soup. Snapperly, dapperly, cidery apples. Puckery, smuckery, crimsony cranberries. And such was the snack before taking a nap. And Mother Earth said, Now are you ready for bed? Not for a while, said her wild child. PJs first. I need PJs to get all dressed before taking a rest. So Mother Earth gave her child PJs, a fiery, flaming, reddish nightgown. A brilliant, bursting, yellowish robe. Two burnt, blistering, orangish slippers. A tawny, tarnished, goldish nightcap. And that's how she was dressed before taking a rest. And Mother Earth said, Now are you ready for bed? Not for a while, said her wild child. A kiss first. I need a kiss, a smooch, and a smack before hitting the sack. I carry my PJs with me. That is handy, Shelly. So Mother Earth gave her child a kiss, a whooshy, whirlishy, windswept snuggle, a freezing, frizzing, frosty caress, a gusty, blustery, twisty embrace, a crystallish, icicleish, icebergy kiss. And such was the smooch and smack before hitting the sack. And Mother Earth proclaimed, Now you are ready for bed. This time her child smiled. Yes, that wild child. With a wink and a wiggle, and a stretch and a giggle, hunkered below a blanket of snow, and let out a yawn so loud and so long. Her breaths grew deep as she fell fast asleep. And Mother Earth said while touching her head, Only sleep for a while, for I shall miss my wild child, my wild child called Autumn. Then Mother Earth put herself to bed, finally resting her head. But her eyes opened wide as before her she spied 
Another child stirring, a swishing, a swirling, bouncing on the bed. Can't sleep, Winter said. <laughs> Another wild child. Yes, for the next season. Shall we shake our own sillies out, our own wildness? Yeah, let's get our song started. Here we go. Gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. And wiggle my waggles away. I gotta clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. And wiggle my waggles away. I gotta jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump. Jump my jiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. I gotta yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out and wiggle my waggles away. I gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. And wiggle my waggles away. Hmm, that woke me up again. Yes. Now, Shelly, mm -hmm. in the United States, today is Thanksgiving Day. Oh, yeah. So I thought we would read a book about Thanksgiving. Because no matter where we are and what day it is, we can all be thankful for something. This book is called Thanksgiving is by Gail Gibbons. Thanksgiving is a holiday for giving thanks. In the United States, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. The ancient Jewish harvest festival called Sukkot was first celebrated thousands of years ago. Jews thanked God for his protection and for their food, as they still do today. The Middle Ages were from about 450 to about 1450. During the Middle Ages, farmers in England held festivals to celebrate the end of the harvest. Thanksgiving is the Pilgrims. In September 1620, a group of 101 passengers sailed from Plymouth, England in search of a new home. These men, women, and children were called Pilgrims. They wanted the freedom to worship in their own way, which they had not been allowed to do. They crossed the Atlantic Ocean on a small ship called the Mayflower. Their voyage was difficult, they sailed through many storms. One passenger died and a baby was born. Wow, what a hard voyage. Yes, it was very difficult. At last, after a long voyage, they came ashore at what is now Plymouth, Massachusetts. The pilgrims began to build homes. Winter came with its cold winds. The pilgrims had little food to eat Many of them died. Oh, what a sad time. It was a very sad time. Thanksgiving is Native Americans. Two famous Indians who helped the settlers were Squanto and Massasoit. When spring finally arrived, the pilgrims were grateful. Indians taught them how to grow the foods that they themselves ate. Also, they taught the pilgrims how to be better hunters. During the growing season, the crops grew and grew. The fall harvest was plentiful. The pilgrims wanted to thank God for the abundance of food they would have, they would have for the coming winter. Thanksgiving is the first Thanksgiving. There was a great feast. The Indians were invited. It was the Pilgrims' first Thanksgiving, the fall of 1621. The first Thanksgiving lasted three days. 
Wow, if I feasted three days, I wouldn't be able to fit in my shell. <laughs> You're probably right. Thanksgiving is a holiday. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed the last Thursday of November to be Thanksgiving Day. This was the first nationally declared Thanksgiving Day for the United States. Then, in 1939, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt made a change and declared Thanksgiving Day to be the fourth Thursday of November. In Canada, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the second Monday of October. Thanksgiving has many symbols. There are Thanksgiving decorations. In many ways, our Thanksgiving celebrations remind us of the Pilgrim's Thanksgiving. There are pumpkins, turkeys, fall leaves, and other symbols gathered together to look like harvest time. Some homes are decorated. Thanksgiving is family and friends. Family and friends come together to share good times. It is time for loving and sharing. Thanksgiving is a Thanksgiving feast. Mm -hmm. Tables are filled with many of the same foods the pilgrims shared with the Indians. There's turkey, stuffing, cranberries, sweet potatoes, beans, squash, cornbread, and other good things to eat. Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving desserts, too. Mm -hmm. There is pumpkin pie, mincemeat pie, bread pudding, baked apples, all kinds of treats. Thanksgiving is giving. Sometimes people send Thanksgiving cards. They may give plants or flowers when they visit others. Thanksgiving is games. Families and friends may play outside or go to a game. Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving plays. There are plays about the pilgrims and the Indians who helped them. That's a good way to remember. It sure is, Shelley. Thanksgiving is parades. There are floats, bands, and big balloons. Those are huge. <laughs> Thanksgiving is sharing and remembering others. Thanksgiving is giving thanks for many blessings. You know, Shelly, it's been a hard time for a lot of us lately too, kind of like it was for the pilgrims. Yes, but we can remember there are good things too. Yes, we can remember all the things we love and that good days will come. Shall we finish with our special song? Yeah. What a wonderful world. Thank you, Shelly. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. The bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. 
Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Thank you for helping our world to be wonderful. We can't wait till we get to see you in person. Until then, stay, stay safe and well. Bye for now.